Hello, my friends. It is Amy Rich with amyrich.net. I'm here to create another amazing fun fold card with our August 2024 paper pumpkin kit. It's going to be a blast. Join me, even if you don't have the paper pumpkin kit, because you are going to love this fun fold. Let's go. Was I right or was I right? <laughs> there is so much to love about this August 2024 paper pumpkin kit called time for cake. We love the sparkly rose gold accents in all of this. And one of the cards is even a fun fold. Oh my goodness gracious. So many beautiful pieces. But of course, but alas, <laughs> Amy's got to mess with it a little bit. It's hard though. It's hard to mess with all of these amazing pieces when, um, you feel like it's kind of perfect the way it is, but I did it anyway. So there was a bonus stamp set in here today. We're not going to use that, but we are going to use quite a few of the stamp set that coordinates. And then we need these pieces from the kit. So I grabbed balloons. I grabbed um, rose gold cord that is in the kit and I tied them into three little bows. I have three candles here a banner, the stamp, and this piece, which actually this accordion folded piece um, gets mounted onto, I think, but we're gonna use it a little bit differently. We are gonna mount our fun fold onto this piece though, so we will need it. I'm gonna put that aside for now. We're gonna do our stamping first, or most of our stamping, and let's start with our banner. So in the stamp set, there is a happy birthday, which is already curled or curved. Um, and that is to fit the banner. And the little happy birthday is perfect. It's got a great font. All right, I did open half of this. There we go. And I do have the candle mounted on the back. So I'm going to be careful here. And then... Just go ahead and stamp that right on your banner. So in this particular paper pumpkin kit, we have a Night of Navy, Misty, Moonlight, uh, Moody Mauve, uh, Pretty in Pink. So great colors here. And I think that's Wild Wheat in there as well. And I am going to clean off as I go because um, as many of my watchers over on Facebook know, I have an issue with putting stamps away, so I'm trying to be better. I am trying. I'm not saying I'm always succeeding, but <laughs> we're trying. Trying our darndest here. I'm just gonna grab a, a scrap that I have laying here, <laughs> which is kind of goofy, but, um, or maybe that is boho blue and not misty moonlight because this is boho blue paper. All right, then we're gonna take the candle and you can choose whichever candle you would like. Makes no difference. Candle stamp, that is. And then I'm going to stamp it. It's kind of hard to see because it's the same color. Well, I'll do my best. So we're gonna, we're gonna make some little decoration on our candles. So we've got three of those. And I'm gonna use the same candle stamp on each Feel free to mix it up if you'd like. I love how the wick of the candle sits right in the middle of that little um, flame at the top. That's so sweet. All right, so I've got that done. I think that's it for the stamping for now. But again, I'm going to clean that up and get it ready for next time. Okay, so let me shove this aside to bring in an extra piece of white cardstock that we're gonna use for this. And I actually got smart and put the measurements right on it. So it's three and three and a half inches by 11 inches. And it is scored, I'll go left to right, at half an inch, one and a half, three and a half, and six and a quarter. So I'm going to, this. these measurements are gonna go at the bottom. So I'm gonna flip that over, fold it down, and I am, as I go, gonna give it a good crease. And then it accordion folds back up again. 
and back down <laughs> and back up. So we have this really fun accordion fold that eventually will open up like this and fan up. Ooh, so adorable. I almost can't stand it. It's so cute. All right, so let's bring in our um, Moody Mauve Balloon first. And I'm going to actually, um, in my class, I did dimensionals under here. I am actually going to put it right on with adhesive and just put a strip across and then that will get mounted on to just that little front flap here. Now, flip it over, make sure it doesn't hang over because you don't want to seal it shut. So I'm gonna rub off any excess adhesive I have. But this, this first balloon will go just on that half inch flap. And then we're going to take our banner and that is going to go across. Now remember, it can stick off a little bit because we're gonna be doing some more paper mounting. So it can go right like that with the little ends um, off the edge there. So I am going to grab a couple of the dimensionals and I'm using the ones from the kit. I'm just going to put three right next to each other here for good measure. I want it to be a little bit sturdy so that it's not flopping around all over the place. So I'm going to add that now to the center of my balloon. There we go. Super cute so far. <laughs> all right, then we're going to take our little pink balloon. And we're going to add adhesive at the top. I'm just going to grab some liquid glue really quick. So about the top third is where I'm putting that glue. And then I'm going to adhere that down in place. Like that. And the stripey one, I'm going to adhere down flat also. And this one, I'm going to squish everything down and that's going to fill in space and actually it'll get tucked right under that fold. So it's right there like this. Is that adorable? Oh my gracious. All right, then let's go to the candles. So I'm going to take one of the candles and that's going to go and get tucked up here at the top. I'm going to move it over just a little bit, but I don't want to get the glue where I don't want it. All right, so just like that. Cute. And then we're going to take another one and we're going to glue that down here at the bottom. We will be using that third candle, but hold that thought. Next, we're gonna stamp a couple of the balloons. So in our little stamp set, we've got two little balloons. So we're gonna fill in some space with that, with those, I should say. So I'm gonna start with the one with the little flowers on it. And we are actually gonna grab, um, not our Night of Navy, but we are going to use uh, some Moody Mauve ink for this part. So I'll grab that. And I'm gonna open this up. Oh gosh, okay, I almost screwed up because I wanna put my sentiment on first. Make a wish is a larger sentiment that comes in here. So I'm gonna I'm going to stamp that one first, and that one's going to be in my Knight of Navy color. And we'll stamp that right up here. Oh, no, right up here. <laughs> I almost goofed. Well, it could be either place, couldn't it? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, let's do it here. Okay, so I've got my Make-A-Wish hiding there under the flap. Clean it off, be a good girl, Aim. Okay, then with the balloon now, we're gonna come in with her Moody Mauve ink. Mine is really juicy, so I gotta be careful. 
and we are going to stamp one here. Cute little flower. <laughs> it's adorable. And then we're also going to stamp one up here at the top. Now, this one is going to show. So, I'm going to do it right about halfway. And then watch. So when I fold this one, oh, I guess it didn't. <laughs> it's okay if it doesn't. If it, It's okay if it does. <laughs> I thought I was going to stamp it so that it would show a little bit, but it's not. And that's fine. Then we've got one more teeny tiny little balloon stamp. And we'll ink that with our Knight of Navy. And that will go just down here like this. You could stamp another one if you wanted to. We're just going to keep it just like this. And then we're going to close that up again. You can see how cute. I'm going to have to use a um, little white eraser, which I love these little pencils for mechanical pencils. It The white eraser is great for um, taking off that little sticky ex excess glue. And I just bought, because it's back to school time, I just bought another whole pack because I always use the eraser before the lead is gone. <laughs> All right, so now let's turn around and put that on our piece of Moody Mauve. That is three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. And I'm going to adhere my little fun fold. And see, we're covering up the numbers so it doesn't really matter that they were there. I got so smart. I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, goofy. All right. Then that whole thing is going to go on this card base. So it's going to be normal size. Did you note that we didn't do any cutting from any envelopes or card bases for this card. Kind of amazing. So here we've got our little card. Yeah, that's fun. That's really fun. And then we're going to add our last candle. And I'm just going to cut about a quarter inch off the bottom. And then I'm going to add dimensionals. So I'm going to put a full size, well, not a full size, a full mini <laughs> on the back. And then um, you can do like a half a mini to go down the length of the candle. So you can put a couple of those if you want, a couple halves. And then we're gonna pop that up down to the Moody Mauve layer, right down there at the bottom. And our last little thing will be to add our bows. Now you could either use these uh, mini glue dots from the kit, or uh, I want to trust them a little bit more. So I'm just gonna grab the glue dots from my drawer here. And then we're just gonna roll the glue dot so that it fits right behind the knot of our little bow. All right, so each one of these will get a bow, which will just finish it off. So dang cute, don't you think? Oh man, did we have fun with this. That was a good one. <laughs> All right, now this one hangs over, so you'll wanna really make your mini glue dot mini-er so that you can stick that on without having everything sticking together here. But isn't that fun? Oh my gracious me, so fun. Thank you for joining me for another Paper Pumpkin alternate. Note that every time I get a Paper Pumpkin kit, I create a fun fold card with it. Um, actually, you can almost count on every single time um, to have a fun fold card. You can join me right here. Uh, make sure to click subscribe and then ring the little bell, click the bell so that you get notified every time I put out a new video. And once a month, that video 
is Paper Pumpkin. Now, if you don't have the Paper Pumpkin kit, just think of all of the fun possibilities with this great fun fold. Thanks for joining me. I will see you again next month for another alternate Paper Pumpkin. And sooner than that, for more fun projects.